Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so about a week ago, week ago, I told you guys that I was gonna review the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder, and then on Snapchat I was like, never mind, I'll just review it on Snap, and then I was like, I might as well just review it on YouTube. So a lot of you guys had questions after I posted on Snapchat, so I figured I would just show you how to apply it live. Um, right now I have, well, I guess we're not live. But you guys know what I mean. <laughs> right now I just have my normal foundation concealer on. That's why my skin looks a little shiny, a little greasy. And what I'm gonna do is one side of my face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And the other side, I'm gonna use the medium deep translucent powder just so you guys can see like how it really looks. <laughs> this should be interesting. I feel like it's gonna be too dark, but let's see. I mean, I'm not too nervous because, you know, makeup rubs off, but I'm just like, I don't want to look crazy. So with the translucent powder, I always shake it a little bit and then flip it upside down. And you'll see, ooh, oops, some powder definitely fell, don't do that. But you can see that there's powder here, so I just dip my powder brush into the powder. This is the Kat Von D number 20 brush. And then I tap off the excess, like all, all the excess, like as much as you can. Um, into the cap. I don't want it to like look white, you know? And I'm just gonna like dust it and press it on this side. So under my eyes, I always like to kind of just like press and pack the powder in, especially if it's a translucent powder, because it that means it's not gonna show like that much color. Press and pack. Actually, that's not too shabby. Hmm. That looks pretty good, actually. Shoot. So this is the translucent, you guys. You can see one half of my face is nice and matte. The other half is shiny. All right, guys. Let's try the medium deep translucent powder. So from what I can see before even trying it on, it does have like a reddish undertone. And when I tried it on, you guys saw me on Snap. I already tried it on. It seemed to be a little darker, but I haven't tried it under my eyes or really all over my face as a setting powder, so let's see what happens. Ooh, nervous. And I'm just gonna use the same brush, it's fine. I'm gonna do the same thing, tap it. Tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna press it, ooh, on the forehead, whoa. So you guys can see, I don't know if you can or not, but you can see it's already like a little darker. Ooh, I'm nervous. And I'm just gonna press it under the eyes. Hmm, that's not too bad. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I will say this, because I can see that there's like a warmth to the shade, I don't think I would bake under my eyes with this. I would still use a regular translucent powder. But I did think that this would show up a little bit darker. Like when I used it on myself on Snapchat, it seemed to be pretty dark and I was like afraid to even try it under my eyes, but I think it looks pretty good. The only difference I see between the two is that the translucent powder is like a true translucent. The medium deep does have color. So if you have a deeper skin tone, I feel like I would try baking with it, especially if the regular translucent is too light. Try baking with it. And if that doesn't work out, then just kind of do the technique that I did like this. You know what I'm saying? Not too bad. I would say if you're my skin tone, obviously you can use it. If you're a little lighter, I would say you could use it as a bronzer, or you can use it like in the summertime when you have a little bit of a tan, you can actually just apply it like on your forehead, on the outside of your uh, face to match your body, you know? You might be in Miami soaking it up, get a little tan, need to bronze it up. So if bronzers are too like heavy or just not the right shade, if you haven't found the right shade of bronzer, I feel like you could use a medium deep as a bronzer because it has that warmth to it, you know? I'm actually impressed with this. Can you guys see a difference? I'm all, I see it. Like I feel like this side is definitely warmer and this side is brighter. I mean, they both kind of work, but hmm, not too bad. Oh, I have to say this, you guys. Okay, so when I was on Snapchat, and I tried the product for the very first time, except, you know, I didn't put it under my eyes because I was scared. Um, but when I first tried the product, it looked a little dark, and I think it's because I used too much product. Like with this, you guys, you really have to use just a very small amount on the brush. Like don't pack your brush with powder or else you'll look 
crazy okay so just like a really like just a tiny bit on the brush is all you need and you can just like dust it on I did notice that when I went into the sunlight that my face looked more orange so that was like kind of scary <laughs> in pictures it looked perfect but in real life it did look um, a little too orange so it's kind of like I guess you're sacrificing one or the other you know what I'm saying like in pictures look good real life so I feel like this might be the same thing where my my face will even if I bring it down It'll still be a little bit too orange for my skin tone. That's yeah, that's the only observation But I do like how this looks also I will say this on snapchat the other day ugh. <laughs> On snapchat a few days ago. I did use more products. So that could be why it looked kind of orange, but I really like it Mmm. She looks cute or whatever. Hmm. Alright, let me finish. Let me finish putting my <laughs> makeup on. I actually don't mind this look like this. You know what I'm saying? Without highlight, without blush. Like, it's kind of like a natural look. I'm feeling it. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I have my eye slay lashes on. So I know you guys are going to ask. So really quickly, I'm just going to finish off the look so you can see the effect of, you know, a full face with the powder. Um, maybe I should add more powder on this side, huh? I'm tripping out here looking crazy. I was about to play myself. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. So I'm putting the darker color on this side. Tripping. I was about to... Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad I caught it. Ooh. Just so it's like a little even. Ooh. There it is right there. That looks kind of nice. I like it. You know, when you're surprised, you're like genuinely just like surprised. Like, hmm. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my skin with the Laura Geller, what is this, Gilded Honey Highlighter. So I'm just going to apply this on the highest point in my cheeks. Aww. I love this color, it's so pretty. On my nose, of course. Say what you want about highlighting, but it's not going to stop me from doing it. Aww. Like, I know some people are against highlighting, like, I just don't know why. Like, it's just, like, life right here. This is Tawny Blush from Bobbi Brown. You guys, with this blush, though, be careful. Like, a little bit goes a long way. Ooh. So here's the final look, guys, with my highlight, my blush, the medium deep translucent powder, and I have to say, it's pretty, 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 pretty good. I like it. It's kind of different for me because you guys know I like super bright highlighted under eyes, and I like, you know, <laughs> Just that little extra extraness, but this is cute. I like it. So I would have to say um, I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this is gonna be perfect for summertime because I tend to get like two or three shades darker. And I feel like in the summertime, this translucent powder, I might even be able to bake under my eyes with it. So hmm. Hmm. How about that? Hmm. How about that? I like it. I like it. Let me know what you think of this tutorial or this review, I should say. Let me know if you like the product, if you've tried it. Um, let's just have like a discussion in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment below. And last but not least, Strut and Slate.